All right, guys, so we're super excited to share with you about our incubating eggs process and getting more baby chicks. So today we're going to show you all the stages of start to finish from handling the eggs and seeing the chicken grow inside of the egg to watching our first chicken hatch in the incubator, how exciting it was for our family. So come along with us and check out what all it took to incubate some chicks. Okay, so today we went with our community group and we met with the local 4-H group for what's called an outreach program. We don't have a 4-H club, but it's an outreach. And we're gonna be incubating some eggs. So we got some eggs from some local farmers. We put up a table in the living room so we can watch them and they can be out of the way, but in a safe place for us to see and watch. And we are excited. We have this cool incubator that they let us borrow from the 4-H club cool thing is it has its own little candling light so there's a light attached to it so after a week of watching the ch uh, the eggs in the incubator we can pull them out and check to see if the baby chicks are growing in there it's called candling we're going to show you along the process we're super excited all right let's go ahead and put our eggs in there ready don't forget to subscribe some water into this little spout on the outside which keeps the humidity levels correct and then we're going to turn it on and watch the temperature get to what it needs to be. Eliza what does the temperature need to be? 100 or less. Yep you're right. All right Zeke good job. All right so now we are excited because it is set uh, right now it's 71 degrees it's going to build up and then this is going to be our humidity percent level and then it also shows where's it at oh no that's the light hang on that's the light for the what's it called candling yeah it also shows oh display days to hatch ready so here it is we can press this button from that's the temperature or we can press it and it can tell you how many days so in a couple days when we're like how many more days we can click it and find out and keep track of it for us oh huh, that's actually pretty cool it is cool Big chick right there, and you can see it moving. Look at that. How cool is that? And all the little veins of the baby chick growing. It's breathing. Yeah, look at that. Oh my word, that is so cool. Oh my word. <laughs> it's incredible. If it turns off, this one's going to be on. This one's not a stars too, but it's still stars. Go through, go through, go! Oh my goodness, come on! Come on, little chick chick! Is it gold? Do you like a brown one? Turn that on. Like brown with the gold. Turn on that one. No, mine was the better one. There it is! Something we learned while incubating our chicks is that once they hatch, they actually stay in the incubator for a while because they need to dry and get warm. And so we actually had quite a few chicks in our incubator for a while because they were all hatching and getting warm. And you also don't want to open the incubator while others are mid-hatch because it can mess up the humidity levels, which mess messes up the eggs hatching. And we actually had three chicks die mid-hatch within their eggs not necessarily because of humidity we really don't know it's just kind of part of it it was very sad but we are thankful to have ended our first hatching with 14 sweet little chicks 
Now that our chickens are hatched, we are which we are really excited about, we have to set up a little house for them. It is called a brooder box, and I'm going to tell you what you need in it. You're, all you're going to need for the brooder box from the, is a tub from the store, which you can buy at any store. You will need a heat lamp. It can be red, or it can be like this. You will need a water supply. One like this will do, but you will also need food. And with this food, you can use this type of bowl. That This will really do. This is what we have. Or you can get one of those big tray thingies that go in there. But that's really all you need for your brooder box. When they start coming out of the egg, you are they have chicken starter. You're going to put that in the bowl. You're gonna need something. It, we're gonna keep them inside for a while, but if you want to keep them outside, you are gonna need something to cover them. You're going to need um, chicken, you need barbed wire, fence wire. I've seen uh, electric wire. That's I've seen that. You're gonna need that for the raccoons. Anything that can get to your eggs, we'll try to steal them. Come with us. And let's show you how to set up the brooder box. Bye! So the first thing we did is we set up their heat lamp. And we need to make sure it's in an adjustable place because if they get too hot, the chicks will flock away from the heat and you need to move it up away from the brooder a little bit. We also gave them clean uh, shavings, which you need to make sure stay clean and dry. As they're in their brooder, we gave them nice, good water and food and they were all set to get to growing inside of their brooder that we're keeping in our house. Thanks for joining us to check out our sweet baby chicks that we hatched. We're so excited to have a house full of chicks, a brooder full of chicks to get to play with and watch grow. And we hope to keep them safe and watch them become laying hens. Because part of our 2023 family goal and vision is to increase our laying hens. We have seven laying hens and one rooster right now. We want to increase it to having 30. So this is one step to do that. Because I'll tell you this, why didn't we just go to the store and buy some? Why didn't we just order some? Chicks have gone up this year at Tractor Supply, which is where we bought ours in the past. Honestly, we've never ordered them from a hatchery or anything. They are $5.79. So for the 14 sweet little chicks that we hatched, we saved $81. So if you're thinking about hatching chicks, you should. It's an incredible process. It's fun to watch. It's fun to learn with your kids. And you just take such pride in the fact that you hatch these little guys. So we're super excited. And we saved $81 on chickens.